Hey guys, I'm so excited for this video. Yeah, let's get into this eye look. So let's just say, let's just say a lot of Nina Simone and Amy Winehouse this morning. Yeah, it was a vibe. But um, right now I'm just wearing this kind of onesie thing and I'm, I'm kind of over it, honestly. I think it's the color. So today's video, I'm really, really excited. I am... <laughs> I am designing my wedding dress. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the really fun part is. <laughs> yep. There's a baby in there. As a designer, you know, why wouldn't I design my own wedding dress? I mean, I have known what I've wanted since I was a young girl. Of course, it's evolved and changed a little bit over the years. So many, so many emotions, so many, so much love is going into this. First of all, I'm marrying the love of my life with a baby, our baby. We're getting married on my parents' wedding anniversary. Okay, September 30th, it's their 28th wedding anniversary and Corey's dad is marrying us so it's just so much love going into this it, we have so much love anyways but just so much love going into our special day that just makes it even like a hundred thousand million times more special so I am just so excited I am living an actual fantasy but I'm so beyond blessed so a couple things my mom and my grandma live in Colorado and they were out thrifting one day and I actually found this dress. It is absolutely beautiful, fully lace, fully all the way down to the bottom, buttons all the way down the back. It's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> the only thing is that I am almost five months pregnant so it is a little snug. To be real it, it doesn't fit so I have to do some heavy alterations to this one I basically have to cut it open and add some fabric to the side to make this belly fit going back and forth on what we'll do here um, really we're just kind of going with the flow for one but it does need to get done like uh, this week so I can get it shipped out to my fiance's parents house so I'm thinking that we'll say our vows in this dress. I'm thinking of making the dress that I have in mind. It's kind of like a, oh here, let me show you. It's right here. I'm actually trying to get things done while my fiance is at work. So he doesn't see it, of course. I mean, come on. So this is the material that I've picked out, if you can see. It's kind of like a really beautiful off-white silky color, which I think it's gorgeous. It's almost like a pearl ecru color. So I have a sketch. You probably, I don't know if you can really, this is just a quick sketch that I did last night. So I'm thinking of doing kind of like a halter top with long ties in the back and a low back, a little flowy type. Of, so huge shout out to my mom and my grandma for finding this dress. It's absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to alter it and to um, try it on and show you what it looks like. I love you for sentimental reasons. I hope you do believe me. I'll give you my heart. open on both sides thinking I could just add some fabric preferably stretchy fabric in between these two panels 
Um, but it's looking like I'm gonna have to cut it even more going down this way because I can't get it over my butt. The next day, and I had to brainstorm. That's the way I work. I have to like sleep on it and brainstorm and figure out what I'm gonna do, but I have a plan. So I'm going to serge all of this together so it's one piece because I don't wanna just work with the lace only because it's see-through. So I'm gonna go ahead and serge all of this together on all sides. And then I cut out uh, just kind of like a easy little pattern of how much fabric I'm going to need to go in the middle. So if I follow these lines up and make it about 22 inches long, that should be enough fabric for me to cut out and then sew to the dress. So it really shouldn't be that hard. I'm thinking that's the plan. So let's go ahead and get started. This is my great grandmother serger. It always gives me oh, that good, good, good. I'll give you my heart. I Now it's just pinned because I wanted to see if I cut the right amount. Let me see if you can see it a little better here. There we go. Okay. So this is the front. I'm going to tack these back on so they'll be like that. Okay. Then we have the satin fabric pinned on the sides. And it has a little bit of a stretch, which is good. And um, I'm going to go in and sew it like triple to make it sure it's really secure. And then it has a nice body like curve, which is what I really wanted. So it kind of cinches everything in or it gives that illusion. But yeah, it's just pinned right now. Hubby's on his way home right now from work. So I'm going to have to put this up and start again tomorrow. Okay, I'm on the last and final touches. All I have to do is him right here underneath the arms there's a little imperfection down here but I'm really not gonna worry about it I tried to mess with it and I ended up making it worse so I'm just gonna improvise but um I'm almost done I'm almost done I have to hurry because Cory's on his way home but I want to show you guys the final look <sighs> oh well it's actually not done yet I have to pull this in a little bit tighter because I don't know what happened here. I guess I just mis-measured. I don't know. I just have to pull it in a little bit tighter. But this is it. Um, I'm just going to pin this up. And oh my gosh. It's beautiful. And the best part is baby gets to be there with us. Oh, oh my gosh. I cannot believe this. It's like everything I've always wanted and <laughs> didn't even know I wanted is happening at the same time. And it's it's really beautiful. Oh, okay, so good thing I am almost done. I just have to tack in this somehow without making it too tight and then mail it to my mother-in-law tomorrow. So, oh, thank you, God. It's beautiful. I'll give you my heart.